I am Dr. Raj Shegran, Head of the Department of Orthopedics, Trauma and Spine Surgery in Ganga Hospital, Coimbatore. Today I would like to talk to you about something that's very important, something that almost decides life and death for every one of our citizens. Now when I use this word that something that decides life and death, you may think that I'm going to talk about some very severe disease like tuberculosis or cholera or dengue. But actually much more than all of these, most of the Indians die of road traffic accidents. All of you will be very surprised to know that we now have the unfortunate incidents that India leads in the number of road traffic accidents and also in the number of road traffic accident deaths. You will be surprised that one Indian dies on the Indian roads every three minutes. That means from the morning that you got up till now, almost 20 to 30 Indians have died. And for every one of a person who dies, there are at least 10 people who lose their limbs. These people can never lead a normal life hereafter. And for each one of the person who loses a limb, there are at least 25 more who are severely injured but successfully treated and are lucky enough to get back to their normal life. There are more than 7.5 lakh accident victims in India every year. And there are about 1,86,000 people who die every year. Now if you take a sum total of 4 years, that means more than 6.5 lakh people die, which means that we lose more than what people lost their lives in their world war. So now if you take the city of Coimbatore itself, we are losing about more than 250 people every year. And this can happen to any one of us irrespective of whether you're traveling in a car or a two-wheeler or you're just walking on the road, this unfortunate event can happen. Now, we all know that Coimbatore has been selected to be a smart city and we Coimbatoreans love our city and we are overjoyed on this. But how can any city be smart if it is not safe? So I think we all must join hands together to make sure that Coimbatore stands out as the safest city in our country and reduce the number of accidents. This is important because there are two types of victims in road traffic accidents. One is a primary fault accident. That means if somebody speeds or is drunk and driving and then gets into an accident and loses his limb or has a severe accident, then that is sad. We feel bad about it. But if he runs over three children and they lose their limbs, they have it for no fault of theirs. And this is what we call as the not at fault victim. Now, 65% of accident victims fall into this category. They are at not at fault victims. And these are the people for whom we have to launch this program. People also have a misconception that there are severe accidents and minor accidents. Now let me tell you a small story to say that there is no nothing called a minor accident. We just saw a patient a few days ago. He had been hit by a muppet and had only a small fracture of his little toe. But when we told him that he had to have a plaster for three weeks, he almost burst out crying because he had been training to be a police constable for the last three years and the next day was his physical examination where he had to run. And he was at his age limit and so this minor accident completely changed his life. He lost his opportunity to be in the police department for his life. So such small things happen almost every day and we need to be really sure that we all follow road rules so that we don't cause an accident or become a victim of these accidents. Now this is not difficult at all. We need to follow only simple rules. Let's touch our heart and swear and then be true to ourselves. We all know how important it is to wear a helmet. But how many educated people in Coimbatore don't do it? 
In fact, even service people don't do it. So this is very important. Day in and day out, people see a fellow citizen falling on the road and the consequence of having a severe head injury because he did not have helmet. They look at it and then still go without wearing a helmet. I think it is the Indian ethos that we believe in God and we think that God will save us and whatever bad happens will not happen to us, it happens only to other people. Now that is not really true. We need to follow simple things. Let us make sure that in our city, every single person will wear a helmet when they are in a two-wheeler. Now every four-wheel driver must have a seat belt. 90% of the injuries when you have an accident when you are inside the car is because you are thrown forwards and your head hits the windshield or your chest hits the steering wheel and you get a life-threatening injury. Many times when there is a big crash, the door opens and you are thrown out of the car and then you get into a severe accident. Now all this can be prevented by just wearing a seat belt. It is just one small discipline that will save you and your family. And then we have to talk of the cell phone. A cell phone which has radically transformed all our lives in many good ways but more in many bad ways. You will be surprised to know that in one of the uh, census taken, 28% of all accidents were attributed to cell phone usage. People think that just talking for a few seconds is not going to do anything. People think it is alright to read the text but not text, but that will save them. No, it is not true. It is just a fraction of the second that your attention is taken away from the road that gets you into an accident. So please avoid cell phones when you are driving. Third is jumping traffic lights and also speeding on the roads. Now, whatever you are, however high, in whatever hurry you are, traffic lights stop you for not more than 30 seconds at the most. And let's be honest to ourselves. 30 seconds is something that all of us can spare for the safety of our life and also for the safety of our fellow men. If only we have the discipline and the culture to start five minutes early to wherever we need to reach, we don't need to be in a hurry that we need to jump the traffic light over. Now this must become a discipline for all Coimbatoreans. World over, in every cross section, they either have a policeman or they have the red light. But only in India we need a red light and also a policeman next to make people stop at the red light. Now this is just an internal discipline. We also need to be careful that we are not over speeding. Because unfortunately in the film, in the dramas, we all think that it is very cool to be driving fast, driving without any respect for road rules and driving recklessly. Now this is endangering our own lives and also the lives of others. So these are only a very few small tips that all of us, if we follow, then we'll make Coimbatore very safe. We have to make Coimbatore proud of us. Now, this is something that we owe to the Coimbatore and to our family, which loves us. And when we go out of our home, I think it's our responsibility to make sure that we return home safe for our family. I also think that Kauai Post is doing a wonderful job and I thank them for this opportunity to bring uh, forth this uh, message of road safety to Coimbatoreans. Goodbye.